Well, Maria, I can tell you that Ben Affleck has written about that the script. Of jungles of India. And I think after 2020, tells the story of Moking at the young old boy project. He was guided through the jungle by his animal guardians, away from the threat. This comic book adaptation Tiger focuses on two teenage outsiders, played by Thora Burton and Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Check it out for its amazing performances awesome. that are both extremely fun and lovably endearing. I did not. Oh hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Sadat Talk So. This week we're going to be reviewing The Disaster Artist, which is directed by and stars James Franco and also stars Dave Franco. And uh, yeah, we're very excited to be bringing you guys this review as it is an awards contender and we'll also be recommending you a film of the week. So let's get right to the review. Based on a best-selling book, The Disaster Artist follows the story of Greg Sestero who gets to meet a bizarre and strange individual that is Tommy Wiseau and they are both struggling actors and together they decide to go to Hollywood to see if they can make it as actors but upon getting lots of rejections they decide you know what let's make our own movie and uh, this turns out to be The Room and uh, yeah it becomes more famous than it should be as perhaps one of the worst films ever made. So yeah, The Disaster Artist is a superbly fun, entertaining, hilarious film that pays perfect tribute into the making of one of the greatest bad movies ever made. And the Franco brothers, they give a lot of heart in playing Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. They give a lot of insight into their relationship, how they got together, and uh, it is fun to watch them on screen. And they give perfect tribute to the actors that they essay. And uh, yeah, this film, it features superb, superbly meticulous recreations of the most laughably bad sequences in the room. And you guys gotta check it out just for that. And also, well, it also reminds us of why we continue to go to screenings of The Room as overall it's just a fun, entertaining film and definitely one of the funniest films of the year. This is James Franco's finest entry as a director and it's going to be a strong contender at the Oscars next year. So if you guys have a moment, do check it out at a limited screening as it's still running in UK theatres and we give it here a big sit seat of approval. So we're just about wrapped up. And if you guys have a moment, a great film to check out will be Tom Tommy Wiseau's film with the passion of Tennessee Williams, The Room, which, um, yeah, it follows the story of a successful banker whose uh, fiance is out to manipulate and seduce his best friend. And you guys have to check it out for the laughably bad acting, the hilarious sequences, and uh, yeah, you, just the overall banality of this film. You guys have to see it to believe it. I can't say anything more. So yeah, I hope you guys like this one, laugh at it, just enjoy it. So uh, you're tearing me apart as I'm afraid that's all the time we have for this week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and join me next week for more so that Talks Film. But before we go, we do have some special surprises for you guys. Um, a certain Q&A with the man himself, Mr. Tommy Wiseau and his buddy Greg Cicero. So do check that one out. So hope to see you guys soon. Take care.